today I've been recharged. The Attorney General, not the police, the government are prosecuting me. I will face prison again for the original contempt charge, which I was freed from prison for. The same charge at five months ago, the highest judge at the Old Bailey refused to hear. Five months later. Why five months later? What's taken five months? I'm now being re-prosecuted on the 22nd of March at the Royal Court of Justice. The censorship of my Facebook, of, of my Instagram, every way they've tried to silence me. What they hope now, this time, that the Free Tommy movement that spread across the world, it won't be possible. I'm banned from social media. If you write Tommy Robinson or put a picture of me up, they remove it. They remove it. So they want to now put me before a court and probably try and send me back to prison to probably be killed without anyone even be able to protest it or talk about it. The charges that I face is that I breached a reporting restriction. The same reporting restriction, the same Section 4 reporting restriction that multiple journalists breached the same weekend. That same crime that no other journalist in history has ever been prosecuted for. I have done two and a half months on solitary confinement. I'm still left now seeking therapy for the health problems that they have given to me from locking me in a cage for two and a half months and seeing no one. And they want to do it again. Trying to remove me completely from society, blocking me and blocking anyone's ability to hear from me. They're not happy with that. They want to put me back in prison. My charge? Section 4 reporting restriction? The other charge? That I might have caused anxiety to those Muslim rapists that are convicted paedophiles. I might have caused them anxiety. The court or the government are worried about them feeling anxious because I was there. I go to court on the 22nd of March. I want to take this opportunity. This is a fight for freedom that I've had many times. It's not just a fight for freedom, but generally I believe it's a fight for my life. I've been worried and concerned about the lengths that they're going to and what they will go to. You've seen the provocation in the last week at my children's house. I just, I'll, I'll, I'll take this opportunity to thank you, every single one of you who have supported me. I know or I hope that I'll be going back in there with the best legal team in the country once again. We've beat them multiple times. Everything they've thrown at us legally, we've beat them. You freed me from prison. Unfortunately, that fight's not over. It starts again on the 22nd of March at the Royal Court of Justice. And I, I think that the general public around the world will be sickened and shocked that this government... What sort of country is this? What country is this? What country is it that the state persecution, the level and the lengths of persecution against one individual, for what? For what? Anyway, 22nd of March, I'm at the Royal Court of Justice again. The trial starts again. I want to thank you all for your support.